Breaking news. APC leaders reject Tinubu to succeed Buhari. Hello, my wonderful people. A great confusion and um, another level of unrest has started in Tinubu's camp as some APC leaders are against uh, Tinubu succeeding President Muhammad Buhari. Tinubu was one of those persons who brought us to where we are with the role he played in ensuring Buhari becomes Nigerian president. He um, and some others, he's not the only one, we are the ones who told the South to support Tinubu greatly. If you go and check the 2015 election, according to INEC, what was revealed was that Buhari got more votes from the South than even the North. And it's clear how the administration has been going so far, six years and more, counting Nigerians are regretting the actions they took in a twinkle of an eye. Uh, right now, Tinubu had a vision, uh, as is widely spread in most quarters, that he will succeed President Muhammad Buhari, but it is not coming on a platter. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. The pressure on the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in 2023 is generating controversies as some party leaders have said that he is too frail for the job. Thousands of the former Lagos State Governor supporters under the Alliance of Tinubu Support Group, TSG, at the weekend took turns to persuade former governors to declare interest in the number one job. The group conveyor, Honorable James Falaki, described Bola Tinubu as the maker of modern Lagos, calling on him not to wait any longer in declaring his intention to become the next president. Falaki said, on behalf of the millions of supporters of Tinubu support group, we are calling on our national leader, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, to formally announce his presidential aspiration. He added that this is a man who left office yet remains popular till date because his focus consistent and persistent. He has been the center figure in Nigerian politics. According to him, the governing party was lucky to have a person like Tinubu in their political party. But some party chieftains say that APC has better option for the job than the former governor who recently returned from London where he underwent a nail surgery. An APC chieftain in Lafia Nasara State, Halaji Isiak Danlid, told Daily Independence that the former Lagos State Governor represents a recycling process that has left the country in ruins. He noted that Tulumbu is no better than Buhari. In reality, this type will not bring Nigeria any good, and the same thing we are experiencing will continue. For us to stabilize our democracy, we don't need Buhari or Tinubu. Although wide consultation, it builds a strong and vital party, but that is not what builds a real country. We should work with those who can leave a legacy. On our part, outspoken APC leaders and social commentator, Dr. Gassi, Gololo said, those people are jokers. You mean to say that this group of persons are gathering themselves together to encourage one man called Tinubu to run for this position? No way. So there are APC um, leaders, especially from the North, who feel strongly that Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu do not have what it takes to take Nigeria to the next level. In their opinion, they feel very strongly that they have better candidates that Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinobo. And so why do we have to go through the same cycle to bring in somebody who may potentially not represent and develop the nation as it ought to? Um, speaking, they said, we have had Buhari, whom was a mistake and we don't want to repeat such. 
And if you listen to Gololo closely, he said, I mean, we've had this mistake before. Why do we want to repeat it? Tinubu is not going to do anything much different from what Buhari has done. Things are just going to continue in steady motion of the way they are. Um, why Tinubu's um, supporters are arguing that uh, Tinubu has left politics. Remember, he was a senator in the 90s. Then Lagos State Governor from 1999 to 2007, which, which happens to be his two tenor, but has still remained relevant in politics. Now the question goes, does relevancy make means that you are doing well? Does it mean that you have, I mean, you have done what it takes to bring about transformation? Can Lagosians put their hands to their chest and says, because I mean, whether you like it or not, you may not agree, but the Tinubu is ruling Lagos by proxy. And when um, Akinwumi will not subscribe after becoming the governor of Lagos State, we saw what happened. There was no second tenor. Not because he was not doing well. Not because the people of Lagos did not love him or want him. But, I mean, the odds speaks for themselves. So, are we going to continue with the same reigns because somebody is popular? Or we're going to take the bull by the horn and pick a more suitable candidate? Is Tinubu that suitable candidate? Or could there be somebody else? We saw yesterday that APC chief things warned, you know, uh, Yahya Belu closely, asking him to desist from every intention he thinks he has regarding 2023. That if he's talking about youth leaders, <laughs> there are more youth leaders in the South than he can imagine. So, I mean, when you look at it, if we want to really be honest with ourselves, do these people have what it takes? What have they done? Because, I mean, you look at a man's credentials, to be able to ascertain if he's okay for the job, if he could do what he says, you know, or better still, you go by faith and you just believe that he will learn on the job and I mean, if you're ready to take that chance, yeah? So, I mean, it is what it is. Is Tinubu the man that we need today? Can Tinubu take us further? Is it the voice we need? Is it the one we need right now? Can he really, you know, take Nigeria to the next level? Are we going to continue with the same face that we are and we have right now? Leave us a comment. We really do love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.